This is Marie, World Peace Knits. I'm back again. I have lots of projects for you. I have uh, crochet and knitting, sewing. I have um, Coffee and Tea Corner and Denver Cruise projects. So stick around. Let's go ahead and just get started. Um, so my first project was this Wobble Bobble Beanie. And I kind of took this pattern and I riffed off of it. It's by Hannah Martin of Mars. And it's a crochet hat. And I went ahead and did the ribbing part of it. And then I did some of the bobbles. And then I kind of, you know, started to do my own thing. Um, I used Ice Yarns Softly Baby. And these are just um, yarns that I had in my stash left over from other projects. And the Softly Baby number that I used is this uh, 42384. And then I used Encore Tweed, and this one was color number 1237. And then I had this like mystery green uh, worsted in my stash. These are all worsted weight acrylic uh, blends. And um, so I used these three yarns for the project. And it's a crochet hat. So basically I just, I did, um, I did the ribbing in a five millimeter hook, and then I did the body of the hat in a 5.5 millimeter uh, crochet hook. And I did some bobbles, and then I did some front posts, and then I did more bobbles and front posts, and then I did some double crochets to kind of bring it together at the top. And I put a giant pom-pom on it, because every hat that's giant needs a giant pom-pom. <laughs> So there you go. That's what it looks like. And it was just like a scrappy hat with some leftovers. I just thought I would do it for fun. All right. On to the next thing. Okay. The next thing. Oh, these are cool. Kate Celine. Uh, she is a yarn dyer. And she came up with this new pattern. And they're scrappy spiral uh, fingerless mitts. Or she was making socks also with this pattern. And then you just put the toe in and then because of the the nature of the pattern that it twists like this it stretches and it gives you enough room for your heel so you don't actually have to put a heel in the sock like if you were making these for a child whose foot grows you could just make it and then the the child it would grow along with the child you know as their foot got bigger you know it doesn't have a heel for them to grow out of so I decided to make some fingerless mitts with some scraps and I used some of Kate Celine's yarn and then I used some other yarn that I had in my stash and they're super cute. I love them. So this is what they look like. And I love this pattern. It, you know, it turned out really nice. They're kind of like uh, fitted. They're not, they're kind of slouchy, but not super slouchy. And I didn't put any thumb holes in. I just decided to do them like kind of like sleeves just to wear in the winter time when it gets cold or when you're typing or when you're cold or whatever, you know. So I love them. Kate, I love them. She said she wanted to see them. So I'll have to uh, send her a link or something. All right, so this is what they look like. Super cute, and these are called Scrappy Spiral Fingerless Mitts. I'm just checking my notes down here. I used a 2.75 needle, and the pattern um, is free on her website, so you just have to go download it. But it, And it was fairly easy. And actually, coming up in the podcast, I have another project I'm working on with these, so stick around. That's coming up later. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I was working on, okay, is I did, I kind of have a bit of a sock parade for you. I'm just looking for the pair. Okay, I did uh, make a pair of socks with this, which is a self-striping, it's called Pumpkins and Mums, and then I used opal for the heels and toes. And the Pumpkins and Mums, I'm just looking at it, um, 75% superwash and 25% nylon. And it's by uh, Southern Storytime Yarns. 
And then the opal was one I just had in my stash from other, um, other socks that I knit. So I made a pair of socks out of this. I used 2.75 uh, needles. This is what they look like. And I love them. So, super cute. All right, so um, confession, I have had these on the needles for a while. I just pulled them out of my whips and I, maybe I had like half of one of them done and then I finished um, the other half and then the other sock. So, I mean, I still did quite a bit of work on that set. All right, and then that opal color um, is pink. Uh, let's see. 5194. So, in case you're looking for that. All right, so the next thing that I have on my list, I'm just going to go through it the order that I made things. Uh, so, it'll be all over the place. So, okay, so I spun some yarn, and this was like a worsted to a chunky spin. So, it's a little bit, you know, barber pulled and crazy. And then I knit a hat out of it. And so this is the hat that I knit. And so it's, yeah, worsted to chunky, hand spun yarn. Let's see, I cast on 77. And then I knit a two by two rib, size nine needles. Um, and I got this, um, the fiber. I went to a fiber festival in Yellow Springs, Ohio, when we lived there. So I've had it in my stash a really long time. And it was kind of... Um, you know, it, it was kind of like scrappy balls of stuff that wasn't particularly combed very well. So, and I got it, I spun it on my sidekick with my jumbo bobbin. So, so super cute, two by two ribs, 77 stitches, size 10 needle, and I love it. This is another one that will be for really, when it's really cold out, because it's super thick. And I didn't put a pom-pom on it yet. I'm not sure if I will. I should. Maybe I will. All right. So the next thing. Let's see. Okay. So then I made another hat. So this hat was with some yarn that I had. This one's a DK weight. And it's called I Love My Zombie Mouse. This one I had it in my stash for a really long time. And it's called Vesta Dyed Yarn by Spinning Fates, Etsy. So, you know, um, I'm not sure if this dyer is still around, but it's really, it's really neat. It's cute yarn. It's a DK weight. This is what the hat turned out like. So, and it's just a, it's a, and it's striped. I don't know that it was meant to stripe. It just, I feel like... Maybe it is. Maybe it is a self-striping. Let's see if it says that. Yeah, it doesn't say it on it. It came with a mini skein also. So, and the mini skein was the pink. All right. So this is what it looks like. Super, super cute. It's a little bit lighter weight. So this will be nice um, when it's not so cold out. I made it so it's a little bit uh, slouchy. All right. Okay, so the next thing, let's see. So then I made a sock head hat. I cast on 160. I did a, the largest size. I used Z Crazy Zauber Ball. I just really love Crazy Zauber Ball because it just goes from color to color and you never know what it's going to turn out like. This one's a little bit thicker. Some of the Crazy Zauber Balls are a little bit thinner. And let me see if I can see what this one is. This one is Malinwinkle. That's the name of it right there. And it, I like how it turned out. It's multicolor. You could wear it with like jeans or lots of different colors, really. Uh, the color number is 2334. I used a size 3, uh, 3.25 millimeter needle. And I, I love the sock head hat. It is super slouchy. So let's see. So you can... Um, go ahead and fold the brim up and it's still really slouchy. This one is a lightweight one so it's nice um, when it's not super cold but it's just you know just enough. 
So I really love this sock head hat. Okay. All right, the next thing is, okay, some afterthought heel socks by Nicole C. Mendez. Okay, so she's a self-striping uh, self dyer. And so I got these a while back. It is color number 87. And that's what it looks like. This is what the finished socks look like. And they're super cute. Look at that. I just love the colors in these. This will be really nice for, for winter. Just to bring a little when it gets to be the dreary months of winter. So this is, I used an afterthought heel, um, so I knit it like a tube, so I did two by two ribbing, 64 stitches, this is how I do most of my socks, and then I just knit, and then I, um, I cut in the heel afterwards, and then I put the toe in, so. so I knit the tube with the toe, and then I cut the heel in. Alrighty, so the next thing that I have on my list, okay, so this one is kind of interesting. This one, I had these socks and I had a blowout in the heel, one of the heels. And I think I showed this to you in another episode where I was, um, I found, I had a, you know, a hole in a heel. And I decided I was going to look through my stash and try to find the matching sock yarn to replace the hole. And they couldn't find it. So that means I either used it or maybe I traded it with someone in a, in a mini skein swap or something. But I couldn't find any more of it in my stash. So I went ahead and took, so this is what the sock looked like originally, but it had a big hole in the, the heel. And I put uh, a blue heel in, just one, just the one side that has the hole in it. But you know what was interesting is I was like, you know, it's really a good, um, it was good that I made my sock with this afterthought heel in because you know what I did is I just like, I folded it over like the the boo boo so the boo boo heel. I took scissors and I just snipped right there, and then I pulled the yarn back a little bit and I shoved some needles in it and I just put the heel back in. So it was like really awesome and quick. And now I have another heel in my sock. And I realized that you know making socks with the afterthought heel it does have an advantage to when you're fixing them. You know, it's not. Like if I had a heel and gusset, it would be, I don't know. I don't know how it would be to try to fix it, but anyway. So, um, but these are still in good shape. I think these are big box store yarn. I think this is like Vanna White yarn or something. I can't remember, but I've had them for a while. They're one of my favorite pairs of socks. So anyway, so I fixed those. New heel. It's super exciting. <laughs> Put them back in my stash. Okay. And then uh, another pair of socks that I did. Okay, so this is Lolo Did It, Hunka Hunka Burning Love. So this is like an Elvis colorway. And then this is like a little mini called Ballerina. And it's also Lolo Did It for the heels and toes. And this one is um, Superwash Merino. And then this one is 80-10-10, Superwash, 80% Superwash, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. I don't think that I have a cashmere pair of socks in my stash yet. I think I knit a pair for one of my friends once, but I don't think I have a pair because this is a super soft sock. Um, so I'm interested to see how it wears, but I do love it. It is so cute. It's like a Valentine's colorway. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm bumping the table. Anyway, it's a Valentine's colorway. So the Elvis hunka hunka burning love with the ballerina toes and heels. And now to be honest, I found um, this color combo on another podcast like a really long time ago. I think Love Sock Wool, I think she had made a pair like this and I thought they were really cute and I wanted to copycat her, but they're, they're really nice. I do love them and they're so soft. So I'm interested to see how they'll, they'll wear. All right, so the next thing, um, okay. The next thing was a pair of socks. Okay, this one is called, um, this was a little sock set for fall. And I think I got it last year, last fall maybe. 
So this one is um, just a speckle yarn and they this is for the heels and the toes. It is it's called Slutty Pumpkin Latte and it's fingering yarn by uh, Knit Style Yarns. And I think that I originally saw this set on the Grocery Girls. I think Tracy was knitting these. And I put a little bit, I wasn't sure how much I would have, like I couldn't do the whole cuff in this yarn. I didn't think I had enough for both cuffs. So I just put a few rows and then I did the toes and the heels, but I love them. Look how they came out. They're so adorable for fall. I really love them. So I did afterthought heels again, just my standard 64 stitches and I love them. So my next project that I worked on, I have a lot of stuff. So now I have a crochet project. This was a kind of large one. It took me a while to do. Okay, so this one I used ice yarns. I used a lot of this one colorway, which I don't have any more any longer. Like I have just like a little nubbin of it. But I used Ice Yarn's favorite. I used it in two different colors. I used it in this color. I'm just looking for it. This is a like a medium gray color. It was 23889. I used a darker gray color, which was 58559. And then I used um, Wool Melange. And I'll go ahead and link all these below for you so you can find them. And then I also used Bonnie Bon, which is really soft with like little um, nubs of color in it. And the Bonnie Bon was Blue Shades 61288. Okay, so I used two colors of gray, a light and a dark. I used just this for the trim and this for some, just like some trim areas. And I made this. I made the Perfect Pocket Shawl by um, Sonia Hood. And this is a crocheted shawl. And I used, I'm just trying to figure out if I wrote down what size crochet hook I used. It didn't, but I'll put that down below. Oh, size L, eight millimeter hook. So that's what I used. So basically what I did was I took her pattern and I didn't do it exactly how she did it, but this is the, um, so it's a pay for pattern, so I can't tell you exactly how to do it. But what I did was hers had like a little edging on one side and on the other, and then it had all of these, like the lacy bits all the way across. And I decided to make my lacy bits broken up with some more of the trim sections. So instead of, you know, just doing all the lacy bits all the way across, I put in two more trim sections. And in order to do that, I made it a little bit wider just to make it even. So it's slightly wider than her pattern, but I do love it. And then I didn't add the fringe on the bottom because I wasn't sure that I wanted the fringe on the bottom, but this is it. Basically, I'll go ahead and put a picture in here of me wearing it. I had trouble getting the pockets on. Um, I put them on several different times. And finally, I decided that to give the pocket more structure would be easier um, to stitch it on and make it look even. So... So that's what I ended up doing. And let's see if I have anything else. Okay, and then on the ends, I ended up putting a couple rows of double crochets just to even them up. I don't know if that's what it called for in the pattern. I kind of, like once I started winging it, I started winging it, you know? Like I got the basic <laughs> down and then I just kind of went with it. It's all over Instagram, it's everywhere. I mean, one of my friends sent it to me so that um, she said, hey, you should make this. And I was like, okay. So, um, and then also my neighbor, 
which is interesting. My neighbor said, hey, I'm making this pattern and she pulls out this pattern. And I was like, really? And so she made two of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put her wearing hers that she made. She made one for a neighbor and one for her daughter maybe or something, I'm not sure. Maybe one's for her. She, she's gonna make three total, she's got two made. So she, I've got pictures of two that she's made and she hasn't made the third one yet. She's waiting on the yarn. So I'll put those pictures in here. So here's Sue modeling her version and she did put uh, the fringe on it and it's super cute. Okay. All right, so on to the next thing. And I'm going to make another one of those uh, shawls for my mom. And I haven't made it yet, but um, I will sure report back to you with a picture of it or with the product if I have it at the next podcast. So, all right, so the next thing that I made, um, okay, this is a work in progress. Okay, I have it in a little Halloween bag. This is like a Lois Knittings My Bag from like forever ago. But I pulled it out because I love <laughs> the Halloween bags. They're so cute. All right, so I saw on Instagram, this is a new kind of sock yarn. And it's made by Lion Brand. It's called Manny Petty. And I got it in a couple different colors. So you'll be seeing some more projects that I've made uh, in the future out of it. But... Um, it is really nice. It goes from color to color and I love it. So what I did was I picked up that Kate Celine pattern again and the um, it's called the Scrappy Spiral Pattern and I made these mitts. So I've only made the first one and I didn't put the thumb hole in or anything. I decided I'd like these just like they are. So I think that they're really cute. I saw someone made a pair of socks in this yarn and it turned out uh, the socks the socks look cute also. So I'm on my second one and this is just a little stitch marker from like last fall. Little cup of like like pumpkin latte or something. <laughs> it's really cute. I think it's by Simply Serving but I'm not sure. Anyway. So uh, this is the Manny Petty in the colorway. Um, it's called Mittens, and it's colorway uh, 605. That's the number. And so it's just going to go from color to color. So I'm not sure the next one isn't going to match up exactly with this one. This is what it looks like. But I do love this pattern that, that Kate came up with. The Scrappy Spiral Pattern by uh, Kate Celine. Alrighty. Okay, so the next thing I was going to show is a little bit of sewing. Okay, let me move some things around. Okay, so I um, saw this pattern on, I think on Instagram, I want to say. It's called the Diddy Bag uh, Pattern. And I made a few of them. I made four of them one afternoon. And they turned out really cute. I used some yarn that I had, or not yarn, some fabric that I had in my little fabric stash over here. So this is like a little Halloween one. And this is a pay for pattern, so I can't really tell you how I did it, but you can look it up, the Diddy Bag pattern. It's by um, Me and My Sister's Designs. So, but it is cute. But this is just like a little quickie, um, ditty bag. So I also made this one with a little fox on the middle of it. So I just made a couple of Halloween ones and fall ones. So these will just be for like treats. If you wanted to give treats to little ones, they'd be really cute for that. It's kind of what I was thinking that they would be for. This one has little witches brooms and hats and with the spiders I love it and then this one has little cats on it and it's cute 
All right, so the next thing that I uh, made sewing wise is a couple of bags. So I wanted to make a couple of um, Halloween bags. So this one I made and I used um, Hue Loco. Now this one is a free pattern on YouTube. Hue Loco um, has a video on YouTube how to make your own holiday bag. So I need to iron this one a little bit better. But this one's fully lined. It's lined with like little skulls and bones with Halloween on the... I love that. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. That's what this one looks like. And then I made one more. And it looks like this has like little skulls in this. This was all just fabric that I had in my stash. And then the inside, it's cute. I love it. Okay, so the next thing, okay. So the next thing that I have is um, coffee and tea corner. Let me move some things around. Okay, um, so the coffee, so I couldn't, hold out any longer. I drank coffee with pumpkin in it because I love that. I And sometimes what happens is I get started too early with the pumpkin coffee and then I get burned out before Halloween. <laughs> but I'm not burned out yet. So, um, so this is my favorite, um, Pumpkin Love. And this one is by Caribou Coffee. And they have this one at, so my grocery store is called King Supers, and then they have Super Target here. That, those are the two I go to. And this one, they have it at both. I think this might be my second bag. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm almost done with it. So, and I couldn't find any more at the store. So, that one is my very favorite. This one I just opened, and so I haven't tried it yet. But this one is Pumpkin Spice. Um, now this one, I believe, is by Dunkin' Donuts. So, and I got some other pumpkin coffees that I'll be showing in, you know, future episodes that I haven't tried yet. So, stick around for the, I'll let you know how they taste. And so for the tea, I have um, Pumpkin Chai, which is from David's Tea. And this is just a little tin that they give you when you buy tea. But it's a pumpkin chai, and it's really delicious. I've been drinking it. We had a couple of snow days recently, and I had some made a pot of tea. But it's getting to be tea season. And then I had this creamer that I got at the store. I just thought I would show it to you. I uh, don't do milk. And this one is an almond creamer. It's by Silk Pumpkin Spice. It's unsweetened. And it's really delish. I put it in my coffee. And you can put it in your tea also. Okay, so the next thing I have is um, Denver Cruise Projects. And um, I have something from Hillary and something from Jaina. And I'll go ahead and put that in here. Hillary had an issue with um, a magic knot. So she was doing a sweater and she made, she said, you should probably talk about it on your podcast. So I will before I show it. But um, she had a magic knot, which is a way that you tie knots that the ends are very short. And you can, you can look at that up on YouTube to see how to do that. But she had one come loose after she knit the project. So she knit like a sweater and a magic knot came loose. And then so she dropped it, it dropped a whole bunch of stitches and she, she fixed it. So don't worry, everything's okay. But, um, but we were talking about why would that have happened possibly. And um, we're, I'm pretty sure that it was because she was using, um, so if you use like a, just a wool, the, the fibers bond together nicely and they hold those magic knots fine. But she had 85% uh, superwash, 15% silk. And so both of those are kind of working against you when you try to do those magic knots, especially the silk content. It just came loose. And so, um, so anyway, so she was just thinking about in the future, she would do, you know, magic knots with 
um, with silk content. So, and then the Superwash also, Superwash yarn has like a little coating on it that makes it so that it doesn't felt. And that, you know, that also, it makes it so that the knots can come loose a little bit easier than if she was using like wool, like pure wool. Anyway, she got it all fixed. It looks great, but I put in some photos in the Denver crew of it so you can check it out and you can see what happened. So anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.